if you had to make a choice between sugar and fats which one do you think would harm you more i often ask my patients this question and i get to hear this answer fats because sabko lagta hai ki artery blockages fats se hote hain in our community post i ask this question and you can see that still there's a large number of people who feel that fats are more dangerous and i think that is where we are wrong sugar can actually be worse than fats because excess sugar consumption is linked to many diseases ranging from obesity weight gain to diabetes and even heart attack while fats especially healthy fats may actually be beneficial to you so today i'll tell you about how excess sugar is making us sick research suggests that excess sugar consumption does lead to an increase in weight or weight gain and obesity we see is on the rise and it's all thanks to sugar and not fats a recent study published in the international journal of nutrition metabolism and cardiovascular disease found that people who consumed more than 25% of their daily intake by sugar were three times more likely to be overweight or obese as compared to those who had less than 10% sugar intake sugar consumption can be addictive and some studies have even compared it to drugs or cocaine both of them drugs and sugar act on the same receptors in the brain which are your pleasure giving receptors so sugar also can give you that kick and high and make you want more you just can't eat one is how the tagline of these products go when your brain is fed on sugar especially refined sugar then it keeps craving for more and the more you feed it the brain becomes resistant to those signals and hence you have to increase your sugar intake as time goes along with this sugar leads to an increase in the amount of insulin secretion so your body cells the pancreas which is right here behind your stomach produces insulin which helps to reduce your sugar levels now when your sugar goes very high the body has to compensate by releasing larger amounts of insulin but when the sugar intake remains persistently high the pancreas may not be able to catch up and match that so there is a depletion or reduction in insulin levels and hence there remains a higher level of glucose in your blood a condition also called as hyperglycemia which often ends up with diabetes and these prolonged levels of high sugar in your blood can aggravate the inflammation and atherosclerosis leading to a large number of artery blockages so elevated glucose levels can provoke atherosclerosis as shown in this study apart from atherosclerosis and artery blockage the sugar can also create havoc within your liver your liver is like your body's own detox center too much of fat can be very harmful for the liver the liver converts this extra fructose into fat and hence the incidence of non alcoholic fatty liver is also increasing all thanks to sugar there are increasing publications which show that the incidence of fatty liver is now even noted in young adults and children and it's all due to the processed foods containing sugar the effects of sugar may not be just physical they can also be mental too much of sugar can make one feel anxious and irritable as well as tired all the time high sugar intake has also been linked to depression now when we talk of foods containing sugar i'm sure it's those sugary sweets which come to your mind but there's much more to it those who want to cut back on sugar may not just avoid the spoonfuls of sugar they put in their tea and coffee sugar is so sneaky that you may consume it without even knowing about it sugar is considered as a master of disguise hiding in foods without anyone even realizing it there are more than 70 different varieties or names of sugar which are found in different food products talking of food and drinks it's not just those sodas which people blame even some healthy options like healthy fruit juice or energy drinks also may be very high in sugar also when we talk of healthy breakfast all one can think of is bread 
and cereals but these bread and cereals also may contain a lot of sugars within them sometimes a bowl of popular cereals may have more sugar than a whole candy bar and children who are exposed to eating these foods right from their childhood will end up developing all these addictive habits as they grow up we may say no to chocolates but yes to healthy options like biscuits and cereals but they are equally harmful for your health as well as your family health moving on to things like sauces and condiments sometimes the ketchups and salad dressings that we often eat although in moderation can also contain high amounts of sugar a tablespoonful of ketchup may contain 4 grams of sugar so if you are thinking that eating healthy and avoiding only direct sugar there are many indirect ways in which sugar can enter your body and lastly there are the so called health foods that we all eat granola bars protein bars and energy drinks have become popular even amongst health conscious individuals but they are often packed with sugars for improving their taste and acceptance these items might seem fancy healthy and convenient but they have a lot of refined sugars which will spike up the inflammation in your body and hence they may not be truly healthy as their name suggests now that you know sugar can be found in different ways you might want to know about how to switch to a low sugar diet switching from sugar or stopping sugar might feel a difficult task i'll give you a few simple practical tips to help you do that if you have these sugar laden products in your home be it biscuits cereals sodas or even the packaged foods stay away from them out of sight is out of mind so if you are not exposed to these things around you you are less likely to consume them the second option is to stay away from all sugary things replacing sugary drinks be it sodas or even energy drinks by simple water or natural things like coconut water can go a very helpful way to reduce your sugar intake and for those who do have a sweet tooth go for that apple and other fruits instead yes there are some fruits which may be high in sugar but the sugar within them is what is called as a complex carbohydrate so the body takes time to use up that sugar refined sugar straight away reaches your blood and spikes up your insulin and glucose levels whereas fruits even if they are rich in sugar will not give the same effect when it comes to cooking and baking you can switch over to low sugar options or sugar alternatives jaggery is such a very useful alternative but remember jaggery honey they all also are sugars and should be taken in moderation reading labels of all the food items that you buy or eat is a very good reading food labels of all the processed foods packets and whatever you buy is also a very crucial step there is a great initiative called label padhega india where so many influencers and celebrities have made people realize that sugar can be disguised read the labels understand it carefully before you put them in your mouth using spices can also reduce your craving for sugar spices including salt and cinnamon have also been found to reduce the amount of craving that your body will have for sugar remember it's not just about cutting sugar it's also about making proper healthy choices take control of your diet and switch to a healthier lifestyle your body will thank you for that and if you are looking for some simple exercise to help you achieve that see this video